Hey everybody, I am Scott Stanton, the original Tombstone Tourist Center, and we are road tripping through North Carolina, and I'm with my trusty videographer, Karen, as we make our through, way through the south. Now, we're in Hertford, North Carolina, and right behind me is the local high school. Now, imagine in the early 1960s, Major League Baseball scouts from around the country were here to see this teenage phenomenon. And that teenage phenomenon turned out to be one of the best picture, pitchers ever to grace the fields in the major leagues. He played for the Oakland Athletics, and he played for the New York Yankees. I'm talking about Jim Catfish Hunter. Now, if you're not familiar with Catfish Hunter, he was in eight All-Star games. He won five World Series. He won the uh, uh, Cy Young Award. He was in the Major League Baseball Hall of Fame. He was a phenomenon. Now, if you don't believe me, <clears throat> Come here to Hertford, because also downtown, they have the uh, uh, Jim Catfish Hunter Museum, and they have a really nice monument at the county courthouse. Now, another thing you didn't know about Jim Catfish Hunter was he was one of the first big league free agents. And he signed, uh, 25 out of 26 teams were bidding on him, and he signed with the New York Yankees. Why? It was it because of all the money they gave him? No, it's because it was the it was the team closest to where he lived here in North Carolina, and he came back to this hometown every time during the off season. The locals loved him. He was a hometown hero at his best. Now, how much did he negotiate back then? He negotiated 3.2 million, I believe, over five years. Remember, today's average pitcher, average, not Jim Catfish Hunter good, but average earns over four million a year in today's money. But the heck, that was a lot of money back then for Jim. And a lot of people come up to me and go, hey Scott, I got a question for you. How did Jim Catfish Hunter get his nickname Catfish? Actually, nobody's ever come and asked me that. It was the only way I could segue into this. Catfish Hunter, when he was a child, went missing for four hours. And when the local authorities found him, he had a string of catfish. And okay, I can't tell a lie anymore. <laughs> That's not what happened. That's the story that everybody published. The actual truth is, Charlie Finley, the owner of the A's, made up that story and to give him a nickname because he thought Jim Hunter was just too plain. He wanted, he wanted pizzazz and Jim delivered it on the mound. So if you're in Hartford, Come to the museum, go to the courthouse to see the, the monument, and make sure you pay your respects right here in the middle of Cedarwood, right on the main road as you come in directly across from the flag. And if you can't make it out here to this part of North Carolina, which by the way is beautiful, then come to my website, thetombstonetourist.com. I am Scott Stanton, the original Tombstone Tourist. Thank you very much.